It's Furthermore. Alright, so, uh, if you guys have been checking out on Facebook, you gotta check out the groups. Uh, Bay State Off Road Mowers, uh, Missouri Mud Mowing Shop Talk, uh, New York, uh, New York Off Road Racing, uh, Mowers. I think that's, I think that's it. But, uh, anyways, okay, so, we are having a little bit of problem. But I figured out what it was. Starter would, would crank and then it wouldn't turn over. So, let's look inside this cap. Oh no, you see all those broken magnets? Look in here. There's just a magnet on the bottom. Basically, so, this one's no good unless I can get more magnets to glue in there. So, another thing. You gotta look, always take apart your things and inspect them. I'm going to show you how to keep these little washer things in whenever you're installing it to the starter too. Basically, these little bushings. You can't find them separately anywhere, trust me. I looked. Look at this one. Well, I think that's why the magnet's probably hit and probably broke. But, uh... Whenever, the, when, okay, whenever this piece is on the shaft and it turns and it's turning over... It was, it'd be fine when it's not on the motor, but whenever you put it to the flywheel, it'd bind up right there. It'd always bind up. So, went ahead, tore this part. Got it good. Got this one all nice and clean for the most part. I believe these newer ones on the, the newer, the newer style of pose, they have, uh, these little clips, so you can replace your magnets if you want. I think that's pretty cool. Alright, so here's uh one I was working on. Got it all nice and cleaned up for the most part on that part. But okay. And here's the one Damn. Here's the one that was in the other one. If I can set this up somewhere. You guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay, now this one is the one that originally was in my starter. And I'll show you a little trick. Uh, where's the little brush? Oh well. I'm going to just use this one. You don't want to take any of this plastic uh, conduit crap off. Be careful about that. Just like in the, uh, on the stator. Yeah, it's just like on the stator. If you take the, the coating off the wire to expose the shiny stuff, your stator ain't going to work. You ain't going to have no charging. So... Well, I guess we can't use this one. Look at that. Well. Oh, boy. I didn't really want to do all that. Put these back. I wouldn't recommend this. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We're just gonna jump that one. This is the good one. The only thing I was a little worried about was that little notch, but I figured. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Okay, so. It's gonna tell you. When you're going to put these armatures in, you gotta want it, you're gonna want an end cap. Basically, you gotta clean that off. Not to be perfect. You're gonna take your mud mower in the water. Alright. So, you got your end cap. And basically, what I used is a little uh, 
transmission bushing, or actually I think this is a wheel bushing. Basically fits in there perfect where the bottom's exposed. You got top where all the magnets are pushed in. You got a hole in the middle. And then you can take your armature. And go ahead and push it in here. Right now. Alright, so I'm going to do something else about that. But. Alright, well, I thought that was going to work. I have to grab a bigger washer. Well, alright, I'm going to a bigger washer. Put it in there. Hopefully, it's not too big. It'll still come out the bottom. It's a really flimsy light washer, so let's give it a shot. Ready? Set. Nope. Ain't gonna work. Well. Okay. Freaking daily struggles, huh? Everyone knows how that is. Alright, there have these little clips you can buy for these. If you don't do it this way. I didn't really want to do it this way. I was trying to show you guys a easier way I do it. But, you know how that works. Every time you're trying to get it on video, it doesn't work. So, I wish I had those little pins still. So, let me get card pens. This is what you're going to need to do. You're going to need bin. You can bend one up. Over. Over. That way you can get two of these magnets in. And basically, stick this card pen right there. Just so it holds the magnet. And you bring this side over. Like I said, they make these little clips for these. But, you do what you gotta do. Okay. That one's in. Go ahead and put the spring back in here. Alright, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put this, the other two in there. Basically, see how it holds the magnets back. I'll be right back. Alright, so, all magnets are held. Carter pin, carter pin. Basically, like I said, they make these little clips for them. But, you know, sometimes you just make do with what you got. Alright, so, like I said, push this in. And there you go. I got them mostly in. Go ahead and pull. Click out. Push this thrust away in. Work its way down there. Alright. And if you look at the old one, it's exactly how it's pushed back on there. Okay. 
you know what you do is take your top cap. It'll go one way. Make sure you got it to where these little tabs, they don't have them on the top. They only have them on the bottom. Make sure all the tabs and your positive post lines up. Carefully, you'll smack your fingers. And make sure you hold the shaft and keep it compressed or you'll lose the magnet marks. Okay? So there you go. Bottom end, top end. Now you go ahead and grab your one with the good bushing in it. And you line this puppy up. Now, make sure it's on the opposite side of what your post is on. Okay. And you go ahead and work your wave down. So you get her back on there. And then you go grab your end cap. And she just polished up nicely. Basically, there's these little triangle things. And those go into these little cracks. And then the bolts line up. Like so. Sometimes you gotta switch it like that. Okay. Then you take some starter bolts. Go ahead and put them back in here. I think the lady's about to come down. Hair coming down the stairs. What are you doing? Trust me, every man knows how it feels. Just make sure everything's all nice and easy. These little wrenches I use for these are, believe it or not, little, little handmade wrenches, basically. And just go ahead and snug this baby up. And this size is a 5 16 or 12. 5 16 is the one that fits it. You don't gotta go crazy with it because you're cranking it into aluminum. Alright. And with these little wrenches, you can't really over crank it, so it works out. Alright. Make sure everything's moving all nice. Everything's all decent. Now you want to go ahead and throw your washer go. Your top cap back on. Go ahead and twirl your gear back down. Go ahead, you can go ahead and throw this washer on because the spring just goes right over it. And put your spring on. Like so. That's the order. And this part goes back on here. And you go put your little clip in. These little tank clips. I'll go grab the nose real quick. But yeah, actually, I think I bent the clip a little too much, so I had to pop it off. Just bend it in just a tad because remember that little washer thing I said I gotta figure out something to do. I got another shaft if I actually need it. I just gotta re-glue some magnets on it. But usually this will do. I kept looking outside, I didn't see you. I'm doing a video real quick on rebuilding the starter. I'm done basically. Yeah, I don't know, like are you ready to respond? 
sorry about that, the lady came down. But, uh, alright, clips on. Alright, so, bring it over here. Let's move this. Alright, now we're going to throw a starter boat in it. Just basically to get a decent ground. Shot. Flipping the gear up. Yeah. All right. So there we go. There's a uh, basically a little inspection of if your starter will turn. And then, like, basically, you think it's a solenoid, but you hear the solenoid triggering, and it's not triggering, then it's just a starter. Basically, probably what's wrong is either these brushes wore right here. Like, as you can see on this one, they're very, very one and even. Like, this one's really, really short. These ones are kind of long. And then, you gotta check your, you gotta check your bushing. See, you can just tell it's oblong shape. You can really tell on that part. And then you gotta check in your end cap, or not your end cap, your, uh, I guess magneto case keeps with my phone. But, uh, as you can see, like, right here, it's, like, broken magnets and shit. So, basically, and I thought it was a solenoid. Believe it or not, I thought it was a solenoid. But it wasn't. And then, uh, this time, sometimes, right here, we'll wallow. And then every time, it doesn't matter if you get a new bush in, there's still a little bit of slop in it. But, uh, my analysts too, make sure there's coating still over all this crap. Because if, just like on the stator, like, this is a brand new stator, but just like on, uh, yeah, a regular stator, uh, I got one over there, it's got dim one climb over everything. But, uh, if this, like, uh, copper coating crap, is off or taken off this will not charge and if you're on these on Kohler's this is a break but on Kohler's uh, the magnetos on the flywheel tend to stick to these and shatter and if you're lucky they'll just stick to this fall all of them off on the magnet at the same magical time and they'll stick right here and then basically just pull the flywheel off, re-glue them, re them in the order that's on there, and there you go. But you got to know north, north, south pole, uh, other things like that. But, uh, okay, this is the tensioner on the mud beast. Well, let me think. <coughs> Fuck, lose me. Basically, man, I got to loosen that bolt, forgot. Anyways, basically, the I have a bar, a deck bracket that runs alongside the motor, runs down in here, and basically whenever you need to, the deck bracket just bolts right here, and then, what the hell? Well, anyways, so, that's probably part of the whole flywheel, but, uh, anyways, uh, on these all their fans, believe it or not, the newer style ones, it don't matter what way you run it. You can run it this way, or you can run it this way. It'll still charge. And just this way, if it's running this way, it's drawing the heat from the motor. If it's running this way, it's blowing air to the motor. And if you got hot air around you, it's just blowing hot air on it. It's not really doing anything, in my opinion. But, uh... Alright, so... Uh... What was you guys say? Alright, zip tie all this crap back up. Basically, I thought it was a big wiring issue, so I pulled everything apart. But, uh, after just doing a couple little short tests, real quick, like just hitting the push button. It works. And the only thing I did with that clip is basically put a little.